when I gave Devon the 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 title No Limits was a a lot of people said at the time, why, why have you called him No Limits? Because we we when he came over at the Trafford Centre and um No Limits No Limits No Limits Devon It was perfect. We we'd been speaking and I found out a lot about Dev. Uh, we became very good friends, and I always think a nickname has to be something that is about the individual. It's mm -hmm. like you can, you know, you don't. Some guys will say, oh, "I just want to be called something that's like manly or tough or hard. I want to be called Rock Nails or some silly, shit, you know, which is great, but there's no meaning." Yeah. With with Devon, the the reason that no limits was the name and why I called him no limits was for so many reasons. He is no limits personified. If you look at the guy, first of all, Archimedes law. So Archimedes law, if you give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum strong enough, I will move the world. If you look at Devin Larratt, he's an unusual blend, very long lever, but the fulcrum is strong enough. And he can go anywhere. That's all we are doing! We're in the hook! Now. Go! Are you nearly ready to go? On the way to go! Deep press finish, game over. And he's moving the world. And back to being number one super heavyweight on the planet, Devin Larratt. And on the 20th of April. He might move it further than he's ever moved it before. Canada's No Limits, Devon Larratt. And the Georgian Hulk, Lovan Saganashvili. For the Super Heavyweight Championship of the World. Who will win April the 20th, next time out here at East versus West. We're going to find out. But everything about the guy, the the press ups I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Who the does a thousand press ups? A six foot six special forces soldier from the frozen north of Canada that happens to be maybe the best arm wrestler in the world. And certainly, I know at times in that man's career, he is without question being the very best arm wrestler in the world. That is for sure. I spent a night watching that man in a hotel in a place called Thurrock. We'd done the arm, arm Wars deep water event at the lakeside. And that young man that night was something very, very, very special. Let me tell you now. 2008, that dude was a bad mother fluffer. I don't know where, I mean, everybody says, you know, and Devin himself will say, this is the best of me right now. But I've asked Devin when he's on his own. And I've said, look, well, you know, what do you think? You think you'd cut through the guy in 2000? You think you'd cut through yourself that night? And he says, I don't know. There's something to be said about original parts. And there is. And the other thing was that then he was a different arm wrestler. You know, he just did the video, not the same guy. Now, I want you to keep in mind, about two years ago, before I started to have all my therapies, I had arthritis, I had, um, I had bone cysts, I had, um, I had tendon and ligament fraying and damage. Um, my, my wrist was not in a, in a good place, it really wasn't. Um, and this is, uh, you know, a year, year and 10 months later of doing a lot of stem cell therapy. And I know based off of my performance and the way I feel that there's changes, but absolutely clean bill of health, the craziest results. So my, all my structures are perfect. There's nothing, nothing in any of the findings that show any damage whatsoever. I don't even show arthritic changes in my wrist, which is completely mind-boggling. That works both ways. He was never the same guy after the injury he suffered that scrapped him and made it so he did need the surgeries. But that night, 
he was like a perfect polished diamond. He was ridiculous. All original parts, no injuries. Gang of confidence. Mother was more full of himself than a Russian doll. He was ridiculous. And he just sighed through every single person you put in front of him with ease. And I would love to be able to see that guy face him now. I'd love to be able to see that guy face Levan Saganashvili. I would love to see that. And why is because the nonchalance, the ease with which he beat everybody was ridiculous. John Brazink felt it. Richard Lupkus felt it. That version of him before the injuries. Wow. It was something unique, something special. Who knows?